Sustainable development is the key concept behind the construction and operation of the Nam Turn 2 hydropower plant in Lao PDR, a project many considered as a model for future hydropower development. In this next report, we take a look at some of the impacts and changes that have occurred from the building and the running of the Nam Turn 2. More in this report. The striking images of dead trees, half submerged by water, surrounded by a peculiar sense of desert-like emptiness, make for pretty pictures. This man-made lake, the Nagai Reservoir, was created by the damming of the Nam Turn River, flooding about 450 square kilometers of the Nagai Plateau. Stored 350 meters above the power station, gravity does the rest in drawing water through the headrest tunnel, powering the six turbines, generating some 6,000 gigawatt hour of electricity each year, 95% of which are exported to neighboring Thailand. While the Nam Turn 2 is to date the largest hydropower project in Lao PDR, it is still comparatively smaller to other hydropower projects around the world, yet its construction have permanently transformed the environs and communities around it. Underneath this reservoir used to be 16 villages, and since the construction of the dam, the villages has been relocated to areas near this reservoir. The Gao government and the stakeholders concerned hope that they went about doing this in a sustainable way. According to the Nam Turn 2 Power Company, or NTPC, some 6,300 people on the Nagai Plateau were moved to a village like this one to make way for the artificial lake. The locals were compensated with new houses, a patch of agricultural land, access to roads, clean water, electricity, education and healthcare, changes which came about through years of consultation between NTPC and communities affected. <laughs> Some who are relocated, like 56-year-old Ken Gaumani, are very happy with her new life. While her sons are out fishing, she grows a variety of vegetables on her new lakeside home, which provide her with considerable extra income. Not all were content with the changes though. 54-year-old Tom, who told us he used to grow rice on the Nagai Plateau, now has to fish in the reservoir for food and said that life has become tougher for him and his family. Like many who are relocated, Fishing in the reservoir has become the major source of livelihood. Before the building of Nam Turn 2, many who lived on the Nagai Plateau was accustomed to slash and burn farming. In this sense, the Nam Turn 2 project and its compensation programs brought about abrupt changes to many who were affected by its construction. From subsistence living based on shifting cultivation, those living in the relocated villages now can send kids to school, drink clean water, watch TV and pay electricity bills. Seeing this as progress, NTPC points out to the long-term challenge for the people here in sustaining what they have, highlighting the need for a change in mentality in cultivating a sense of ownership that would enable the villagers to be self-sufficient in their new modern lifestyle. It's not uh, difficult to build, uh, to, to, to give everything, so. but it's more difficult uh, to how to change uh, to change the mentality, how to manage, how to organize uh, in the village. Because in the village, we have, they have um, uh, the, uh, many organizations there. Mm. They have the village fish group, they have the credit uh, system. Mm. So uh, they have, to, they have to, to continue after us. 
Ultimately, the stories from Nam Turn 2 represents a perennial challenge to social and economic development in the Greater Mekong sub-region and reflects the existing developmental gap. Perhaps lessons learned here will provide valuable insights to those who seek to bridge this gap in the future. I'm Panu Wong Shi Um of Thai News Agency, reporting for RCN TV from Khammuan Province, Lao PDR.